Hey everybody, welcome to the Widgets and Wonders, my show about great products from small companies. Now today, I'm going to be showing you a command board for Warhammer 40,000 by Armybox. Um, this allows you to track all of your important information during a game, uh, such as secondary objectives, your current command point total, your VP total, um, as well as wounds and all kinds of other cool stuff. So um, this has been uh, laser cut out of MDF. It's got some acrylic accessories and I'll show it to you right now. All right, so here it is, the battle counter from Army Box. You can see here it's a lovely bespoke MDF um, sort of like control box. Uh, it's about three inches thick and probably just over eight inches long and six inches tall. Um, and you have articulated bits for everything. So you have a player one, player two console. Um, these things track up to 20 your command points um, and then your victory points up to like 100 because basically you can go zero, zero. Well, 99, I guess, and then you go one, and then you can count up higher two with ones. So if you're using like large progressive scoring missions, where you get to, like the 20s and 30s for VPs, it will absolutely handle that. Um, both sides have the same counters, so you can basically start to where you want to end up. Uh, and then in the middle here, we have Line Breaker, Warlord, and First Blood for your secondaries. Uh, and what happens is if you get one of them, a little arm tabs down, so there's an arrow saying that you have it or not. Uh, then you have your turn counter right here for measuring up to turn seven. And then these last two grommets here are actually the locking tabs to make sure that the top stays on because this thing will actually stay closed and locked uh, when you're not using it. So then you open these. This actually lifts off to just be available during a game so the command console sits by itself. And then you have all these other wonderful gubbins inside the box. And the box itself actually is something too. So I'm just gonna take each of these out so you can see them. You have your life trackers. So this is all for wounds. Um, and it'll handle uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things. Sorry, uh, eight, nine things that are, or eight things that are up to ten wounds. And these two here on the end go up to thirty wounds, well, twenty-nine wounds. Um, so you can handle uh, bigger monsters in Lords of War as well. Then this lifts out and has all of your uh, sort of tokens and stuff in it. There's a token set. You can put in dice. You can put in uh, whatever other counters and stuff you have too. And this right here is a nice padded dice rolling tray. Uh, you have objective markers, so there's six numbered objective markers here. They're nice and small, which means you can place them pretty much wherever you want, uh, one through six. And then you have these, and what these are, these little shields, are to show whose life counter is whose. So your life counter, uh, if, if I was life counter number five, I would put this next to the model, and that would be able to track it on the board over here. And then these little guys, which are these little coffins, which are kind of cute, um, they do your wounds. So like, let's say I had 19 wounds remaining. I'm doing a... Um, I'm doing a, uh, a knight here. I've taken a bunch of damage, took five, five wounds. I would go one, nine, and have 19 wounds left. I take some more, I go down to 13, right, like that. I take some more, I go to zero, and then nine again. So let's say I take four more wounds. And you just kind of cribbage track all of your wounds um, throughout the course of the game. And all of this packs up into one sort of like neat box. Um, for transportation, storage, and use in game. So this can just go to one side, so you have your counters there. If you do want to have a dice rolling tray, just to make sure your dice are being rolled accurately, and not bouncing all over the place and getting lost, then you have that option with this thing as well. And you can see here, it's even got some neat sort of like 40K style archers on it and stuff too. So super handy, I'm really excited about it. This I'm really liking too, there's a, there's a, a pop out, another insert basically for your counters. So you can keep these two things together, and not have to have them be to one side or the other uh, and it gives you a whole bunch of stuff basically for making your games of 40k more accurately tracked now i know from experience playing like itc events and stuff like that it can get pretty crazy tracking wounds uh using dice as wound counters i, I hate as well because often they get picked up or bumped so having something to decide to actually accurately track wounds is handy as well and then being able to just to keep track of this stuff first blood line breaker and all that stuff that happens instantly is really neat so you probably see these uh, going forward in my uh, videos coming up um, my next few 40k videos, um, you know, in the in, in the lag time it takes for that to happen. So probably probably in the next month or so you'll see a, a game go up using this stuff uh, where we give it a try and see how it works. And so there you go, another great product from a small company. I think Joe did a great job um, designing his battle counter and uh, I hope it gets successful because I'd love to see one for Age of Sigmar as well. I think it'd be some really cool things you could do. Um, I just realized I can store my open war cards in it too and all of my uh, command cards, so my stratagem stuff cards for all my different armies. So super handy um, as all that stuff pretty much exists in Age of Sigmar too. I'd love to be able to have one that would fit all of my um, war scroll cards uh, inside of it as well as my open war cards and stuff as well. And I think that's a... Another market, so I'm hoping this one 
uh, does really well, and Joe goes and makes another one too for the other games because there's lots of things to track in uh, both those systems, and it would be handy to have a little, a neat little sort of like battle board counter for, for either one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we'll see you for more Widget Wonders in the future, and if you know of a great product for a small company you think deserves more attention, you can have them email me at girlmanishgames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets, and I'll put it in front of as many people as possible. So we'll see you next time. Until then, I'm Ash. Have more gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.